All right, welcome to another Warframe farming guide. In this one, we'll be looking at Oxium specifically. But before I get into the places to farm Oxium, I do want to point out it is very, very difficult to farm Oxium. The big thing I can think of when Oxium is being used to farm is Vobin. Vobin Prime, regular Vobin, whatever you want to use. All of his parts need uh, an extreme amount of Oxium, from what I remember. And that is a big reason people need to farm Oxium. Nevertheless, Oxium is also in a bunch of other things in the game, such as Warframes or weapons. Maybe not as much weapon-wise, unless they're like the dread or anything else that need resources and not other parts but then other small things too like little ores or diamonds or whatever the stuff that you find in fortuna as well as in cetus oxygen you use for a lot of things now these places that we're going to look at the amount i'll get in the end uh, I can already see the amount I'm going to get because they do these missions to farm Oxium isn't going to be as high as you're going to think. Now these missions are going to be purely defense missions. You can put in some survival missions here and there. However, I kind of like the defense missions better personally just because you can get them in a quicker amount of time. You can also have it so you get some relics off of it. Now a lot of people like to do three spots. I'm only going to show you two just because I believe these are the two most effective spots. However, I will show you the third in case you want a third option to choose from. This third option which is my least favorite is going to be on phobos and there's also going to be a defense mission right here this is level 10 through 15 so it's very very easy now if you don't know what oxium comes from it's it comes from oxium offspray which is a little drone thing that is specifically towards the corpus fraction and these are going to be on all types of corpus infested areas so phobos is all corpus as well as the two other planets so that is one thing to look out for. now this second spot that i'm going to show you and this is all in order is going to be on pluto and this is outer terminus now you, you know some people think well this is a defense mission but this one gives you better resource resources over here for a defense mission and even though this has more resource drop chance this isn't corpus so it doesn't matter you're never going to get an oxium from this so don't even bother however with this this is defense this is regular old corpus this is level 30 through 40 so it's going to be a little bit more difficult you're going to get a higher resource drop chance and also probably more of them are going to spawn now the reason i have this at second and i just said you're probably going to get a better outcome with this is because it's level 30 through 40 it's on pluto if you're doing this solo you might have trouble with it and if you're a beginner you might not even have this planet unlocked yet so that is why i have that at second and not at first just because you have to keep in mind of beginners in this game who aren't going to be able to sustain this type of level for a 10 wave period now the best spot i like to farm oxium at is going to be on io on defense this is also good for the hexanon and this is also good for getting meso and neo relics now i say it's good for meso and neo relics just because if you do four rounds of so 20 waves in total you can get and I usually get this is two meso and then two neo relics. Sometimes you could put there's a random mod in there so that happens sometimes. But I mean, last time I played this mission, I got two meso in the ten ten waves I did because before this video, I just wanted to make sure that this was right and I replayed all these missions. So if you're trying to find meso relics and you also want to get hexanon and then your main goal, which is oxium, do this mission. It's going to be a three in one, so you'll be able to get wisp and her weapons as well as getting oxium for whoever you need to farm for it and meso relics that could be useful in the future if you just want to get some parts or maybe you get lucky with them. And lastly before I start and show these missions off uh, usually with these type of videos I do solo lobbies I do it solo however with these type of missions with defense missions specifically and even survival I, I definitely notice it with survival there's kind of for some reason there's more enemies that spawn than usual with the public lobbies so I'm going to do that I do believe is going to give you more I do believe the public lobbies give you a higher chance of getting oxygen just from what I've experienced I don't know if there's any true data on that or any Anything else like that but I'm gonna do a public lobby to kind of see if I could get the best outcome possible and then show you and let's say you are low level and you want to do public lobbies to kind of ease the, the easy enemies off of you to give you a better chance at completing the mission then this is kind of gonna show you the outcome of doing that first off we're gonna start with Io on Jupiter just because it's the best one and can kind of save you some time and then we're gonna to go to the Pluto one which is gonna be for the more somewhat advanced ones but just basically anybody who can withstand even with the squad staying at a level 30 through 40 for 10 waves on Pluto. I will consider what I've learned from the skirmish. Position has been compromised. That's the 
last of them. Objective is secure. Let's go home. Corpus walkers are heading to your location. available. Do you choose to leave now or continue you to defend? Don't just stand there. Fix my ambulance. Extraction is ready. Unless you can handle more of the enemy. That's the last of them. Objective is secure. Let's go home. All right, and as you can see there, the Pluto one did give almost, well, not almost, more than double, almost triple the amount of oxygen that we got in Io Jupiter. However, there were some factors that we had to look into. The first round on Jupiter got around 91, I believe, and the first round on Pluto got around 100 and something, a little bit over 100, I believe. Or when I say first round, like the first five waves of each. Obviously, with with Pluto, I mean it's with any mission, the more amount of waves or more amount of time you spend on on a certain area, it's going to get more difficult. Going to give you some more resources. Gonna spawn some more enemies that's like a survival right however the difference between io and the pluto one is that in io the the squad that i was with in that one left immediately so i did solo on the second part now it kind of did prove my point i barely got any oxium offspray to spawn on my solo part of that mission so the last five waves of io so that could be a significant factor so to kind of compare the two we're just going to solely base it on the first five waves and they were kind of similar however again it does prove my point if you do it in the public lobbies when you're farming these type of things especially with defense missions however at the end of the day, I do recommend if you have every planet unlocked, definitely do do Pluto. If you're farming solely on Oxium and do it with a squad, go in the public lobbies. But if you're doing it kind of on your own and you want to get relics with it and you kind of want to get a three in one deal, if you want to get Wisp or any of her weapons, definitely do Io on Jupiter. It is one of my favorite ways to get Meso relics and Neo relics if I kind of want to get both. But with this video, it did prove that Pluto was better and that it also did prove, it seemed like it proved at least, that the public lobbies are going to give you a better chance of getting that rare resource that you want then it would be going in the solo and if you like these type of videos and you like what i've done on this channel consider subscribing it helps me out a lot and it definitely pushes me forward to do more of these videos with all that said thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed